Hey, hey, next in the series on love relationships. Welcome back. Welcome back. Sorry, welcome back. Welcome back. I'm going to adjust this here a little bit. Take it up a notch. There we go. All right, so glad you guys and gals are back with us. Uh, and we continue the love relationship series. Yesterday, we talked about getting out of isolation. You cannot love in isolation. I mean, you can love yourself, which we know is important to do. We're created for love. We got to get out of, iso out of isolation. Now, what I want to talk about today, love relationships, is getting in community. Community is big. Again, life transformed. Our mission is to go help people go from isolation to community. Well, what does community look like? Well, you know, first choice... First thing that pops into my head is, you know, community is just other people, other people that are doing something together, that are united together. All right, that is community um, for me. And you can find community. I mean, there's so many ways to find community. We've got a, a hiking group that we do through through church. Hikes and hangs. We go on hikes. Beautiful part of the country to do that. The mountains, everything is, is just glorious. So that's a community, you know, community of people who have something in common or they're doing something in common together. Obvious one, going to church, a church community. And when I say church community and going to church, it's not about Sunday. It's, it's living life with those people. I know back in my church in Nebraska, we called it tea life, transformational life. You live life together with people. It's not about Sunday, right? It's about life together. We do the same thing here at my church, Elevation Church. We call them e-groups, elevation groups, where we're living life together. <clears throat> you know, we're interacting with these people it's not just a Bible study or whatever. No, it's we do stuff together. We become friends. We have a community of people. When I got here to Asheville from Nebraska, knowing nobody, I mean zero people, I got plugged into Elevation and their community. I was welcomed in. I was part of a fitness group right away. I mean, literally... You guys, I had a community of people that I was hanging out with of probably 30 or 40 people within a week, week and a half. How cool is that? That is amazing. So my personal recommendation, just from past experience, you know, I don't know where you're at on the whole Jesus journey, <laughs> but... Like what I did here in Asheville, this may help somebody, wherever you're at right now, just Google or look up non-denominational churches. If you've, you know, I was in the Catholic church, never really active, but that was my experience. And, you know, if that's your experience, I'm not down it. I'm just saying it's a totally different experience um, with the music and the culture and it's all about celebration and, and worship and joy. And, and most de non-denominational churches are going to be like that. They're going to de-emphasize religion and emphasize God or Jesus. That's it. You know, that, those of you who know my story, that was the sentence that changed my life. Well, Bob, you know there's religion and there's God. Boom, that sentence changed my life because I had had a bad experience with religion. So... Uh, didn't didn't intend to go off on this direction, but that is a great example of community. You may have a hobby that you love to do. You know, it may be photography or art. Like my mom's an artist. She loves to get together with other artists and do things. Whatever community you can tap into, tap into it. Because that's where you get to Use your love muscle. That's where you get to flex your love muscle. When you're part of a community of people doing life together. 
Don't make it about just the activity. I mean, I had Bears season ticket, Chicago Bears football. That's, you know, it doesn't matter. It's shirt on is today, but they're not doing too good. But, you know, there was a time when I was really involved in, in that community of people because we had this common bond and we did life together and we did a lot of stuff. And that's, that's an example of a community, common interest. You know, whatever it is, now that you're informed, you take it to the next level. Yes, it could be like me with the bears. But when I was interacting with those folks, I was showing them love. I was showing them Jesus' love. That's, that's, that's the difference. It's not about the activity necessarily. It's about the community. It's about the people and, and showing them love. And when you can do that, you get to flex that love muscle and actually utilize it. Holy cow, that's transformative. So get out of isolation, get into some kind of community, reject fear, and start using that love muscle within the community. A lot of times we think of love just as my significant other or my kids. No, we're called on to love your neighbor. It's like everybody. So get out there and do that. That's what we are called to do. And you guys, you start thinking, everything I'm talking about as we go through this series, if you put this all together and use this as your, your template for love, it's, it's mind-blowing. I cannot wait to hear the stories of the people that are ready to implement these things that I've been talking about each day. I'll continue to talk about it. I've got quite a few more in this series. All right, we'll see you again coming up for part I think it's part four or five. I can't remember. Anyway, see you soon.